In this video, I will show how to define two text files in IDEA. The two files are for the Cherry B Round 1, Table Cherry B Valid Customers, which is a text, and Table Employees. So first I'm going to download these files and save them somewhere where I can find them. I'll just put them on my desktop. So Table Cherry B Valid Customers and Table employee and I'm just putting these on the desktop. Okay so now I have them on my desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up IDEA so that I can carry out this task. Add the customer table and the employee one. Just a second let me sh show where that is. And here's the employee one. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we bring these in, add them to the source file library in IDEA and then define them. So first thing it says that we need to create a new project and name it HW4CBI. So let's do that. We're going to create HW4 Cherry B Inc. CBI. Let's see if that's the right thing. Yep, that looks good. So back to that. So I'm going to hit OK. Now in this case I've already created it in uh, prior work. So let me just give it a slightly different name. I'll call it SP17. Hit OK. So there's no files in here. So now I'm going to go to the library, source files, right click, add file, and I'm going to add both those files that I just brought in off of the desktop. I'm going to find those files here. Okay, let's go up to the top. There's employee text in Cherry B. So I'm holding my left mouse button down and control clicking both of these and I'm going to choose open it doesn't really mean open it means just add it to the source files so if I click on source files you'll see that they're now added now what I need to do is I need to import desktop because I need to bring them into the file explorer here so I'm going to go import desktop and those files were .txt files so these are text files I'm going to go to the file name here and you see here's the two files in my source files library. I'm going to bring in Cherry B valid customers text first. Choose open, next. And right now it doesn't seem very beautiful at all. So I'm going to choose that it's a delimited. And now I'm going to go to the next. And I'm hoping that one of these will be the delimiter. Oh, good. It's a tab delimited file. So. Um, now that I've located that as a tab delimited file, I'm going to choose that the first row is field names and choose next. Now I'm going to click on each of these to make sure that they're defined correctly. Character seems right, that seems right. Just keep going through each of these, you know, one by one. I don't know if there's any data in there. I probably don't even need to bring in that file, to be honest. Uh, I'll leave it in anyway, but. Uh, zip. This says, says numeric. I might go ahead and change that to be character because um, I'm not going to do any math on it. Customer phone number. I'll call that a character. Um, contact. Let's keep going. That's character. Customer email character. Okay. Customer, customer fax. Make that a character because I don't want it to come into my field statistics. And looks like we're good. Hit next. Next. Next give it a name. Let's make sure we give it the name that's required. So the customer's file is to be named HW4 customers. So let's go and give it that name and finish. And there we go. We've got it brought in and you can run field statistics and um, customer address. To see that's, That was left as numeric I guess because we didn't bring in any fields. Um, so there's, there's really no numeric dates or times in the data here. Um, and that's it. So you should see that there are 16 records and they seem like they've all come in cleanly. Now let's go ahead and bring in the, the other file that we wanted to bring in. Desktop, text, search for it. It's now the employee text file. Choose next. Once again, I'm not seeing exactly what I expect. So I'm going to assume it's a delimited. Choose next. And I'm going to choose comma. That didn't work. Colon didn't work. Semicolon didn't work. Tab. Oh, tab worked. Okay. First visible row. 
is field names, choose next. And then I'm going to click through these once again. Social security numbers, I'm going to leave it as character, name. So you can see that they're converting properly. I'll just keep going through these. Okay. These all seem, oh, unable to convert. Not sure why that would be saying unable to convert. That's interesting. It's not a numeric. That's weird. I'm going to have to leave that one. Why that's coming in as unable to convert, I'm not sure. Um, let's keep going. City, state. My guess is it's still going to bring it in. Um, go ahead and call that zip code and numeric. Phone number. Uh, sorry, the zip code I wanted to be a character. Phone number to be a character. Employee email. Why that's saying that, I don't know, because character is fine. Um, withholding allowances, we can just leave that as character, change it to character. The employee birth date, we want that to be a date. And then I've got to put in the mask. It looks like it's month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. And it seems like it now recognizes that. Employee type, character, good. Pay rate. Pay rate. Let's see if it'll bring that in as a number. Okay, good. So it recognizes dollar and changes that to a number. That's good. Number of decimals. I'm probably going to choose that to say two. And then um, employee position character. So that seems like it's all good. It's good. Good. And I'll give it the name that it was required, which is HW4 employees. Copy that guy. Go back to the idea. Put in that name, finish, and you know how it said it was unable to convert? These did seem like they came in fine. Let's double click. Um, it seems like it came in fine, so uh, I'm not sure why it's saying that was unable to convert, but all these that said they were unable to convert seem like they've come in fine. Others came in great, so it looks like we're done. So that's how you uh, bring in those files. These were not PRN or PDF files. These were text, and they were delimited, but you had to kind of find the delimiter which in this case turned out to be, um, I think it was a tab. All right, good luck.